Okay, gang. Pithead 1000 here. Um, I made a big mistake, guys. I made a big mistake. We are building an arsenal here. We are building a game arsenal. A Panzer division of games. And every time we get a game, the plan is we put it up on the game shelf. But I've been neglecting that part of the show. So I think the next episode we do, it's going to be a very intimate episode between you, me, and the game shelf. We're going to basically nail down what we have and put it all on the game shelf. Because to me, that was an important part of the show. We started with nothing. With an empty shelf. And the idea was every time you, you, you tuned into the program, you would see the shelf grow, the inventory grow, the, uh, our ammunition grow. So, next time, we're going to get back to the game shelf. And we're going to start doing shows from the podium. I mean, I've been working like a mad dog this week, so we're doing shows from the chair because it's nice and comfortable. It's easy on my back. So, uh, just got home from work, stopped at the thrift stores at the, on the way home, and it's Thursday, so it's sale day. Now, um, my last three trips to the thrift stores have been really disappointing. Basically, I, I've come up with, with nothing. And... If you, if you troll the thrift stores, it can get very frustrating. It, you, you can get to the point where you're like, what, what am I even doing coming here? And there are some thrift stores that never pan out, but if you stick with them, you will hit big, and I promise you that. Um, so, like I said, the last three trips to the thrift stores have been pretty, uh, pretty sad. There, there hasn't been anything there but but sports games and like old sports games and I don't know what it is with old sports games nobody wants them they pile up in the thrift stores so you know it gets frustrating seeing the same old sports games over and over but uh but this trip today uh was pretty good so let me sh let me show you what we have and I'm gonna I got three things in particular and we're gonna start off in order of importance from least important to most important so uh, let's get started now, I want you to keep in mind that today was the discount day. So everything that I'm showing you, all the prices that I'm showing you, are 20% off. 20% off. Okay. The first thing we got here is, um, it's a system link, and it's basically uh, a link from your Game Boy Advanced to your GameCube. And this is an interesting item. This item wasn't by the video game stuff, but when I saw it, it grabbed my eye. And uh, this basically gives you the, the ability to connect uh, one Game Boy Advance to another, or uh, a DS and a Game Boy Advance to your, to your GameCube. Now, this is fantastic. I, I, I have the idea... Uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I have the idea that you can connect the Game Boy Advance to this and play it through your through your GameCube and see it on the television screen. If that's the case, that's awesome, especially if I'm going to uh, do a reviews on Game Boy Advance games, which I don't have, I've never owned, and that just would be something really cool to do. So it was it was five ninety nine. I was kind of like. But it was it was twenty percent off, so whatever that is, that made it a little easier. But for some reason, this is brand new in the package. I I, I thought this was something that if I pass by, I might not see again, because I, I don't know too much about it. So maybe I got ripped on this deal, um, maybe not. But I, to me, I thought this might might come in handy one day, so I bought it. And consequently, there was a Game Boy Advance in 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 the showcase at the thrift store. And I don't know much about Game Boy Advanced or, or, or the games, but it was a Game Boy Advanced for $24.99 with six games. So, that, that sounds like a good deal, but man, I don't like to spend $24 in the thrift store. 
I don't know. Let me know if that's a good deal or not. I really don't know. So that's that. And you know what I always do in the thrift store? I always look at the games. They they have the usually have the games up on a, up like a pegboard, and then underneath it they have game systems. If they're all game systems, uh, normally you see like a V Smile down there, or uh, uh, you know the the um, the children's gaming systems that nobody wants, they're all there. But once in a while, there's a game system down there. And I always pass it by with my eye. I'm always looking for games, and then I glance down, and, and boom, it hits me. And this one, this one hit me. A Nintendo 64. I mean, now, guys, we've been at this for like a month and a half now. Probably less than that. And the systems are just flying at me. And this is uh, Nintendo 64, and I've scooped up a lot of Nintendo 64s at the thrift stores lately, so um, uh, this is really a good find for me, a good find for the show, a good find for us. And not to mention, if you have a good memory, on the last show when we, we picked up a lot of Nintendo games, the guy threw in a Nintendo 64 controller which this didn't come with. It came with the power cord, it didn't come with the AV cord, and it didn't come with controllers. And we got this for $9.99 with 20% off. So whatever that breaks out, breaks down to be. Uh, seven bucks or something like that. So I, I thought that was great. I plugged it in, the power light came on. It's real grungy. I don't know if you can get a look at that. It's real grungy. It's got a... Uh, Looks like somebody was eating pancakes on top of it. It's got a sticker on there, but but we're at, here here at Bidhead Show. We're experts at cleaning these systems up. So this this baby's gonna look cherry in a couple days, and then she's gonna get she's gonna earn her spot right on one of these shelves here. So really, really, really super duper excited about having a, a Nintendo 64. Okay. Now, let me keep this up here. Now, on the way out from the thrift store, I'm walking down one of the aisles, and out of the corner of my eye, I see what looked like a game cartridge, but it had an enormous handle on it. It looked like a miniature Samsonite suitcase. And I went over, and I picked it up, and now this, this is something that I think is so cool. We got Out of This World Helicopter Rescue for... Jesus Christ, what is this for? This is for the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Can you, can you guys see that? I'm going to take it out of the bag so you guys can get a closer look. But I want you to see the price tag. 99 cents. Check this out. <laughs> Odyssey 2, I don't know what it is. Look at this handle. These, these games must, if a game has a, has a handle like that, it must be real frustrating to play. Because by the time you're done with it, you just want to grab the handle and rip it out of the system. But, uh, look at this, guys. This thing is in mint condition. I never had Odyssey, Magnavox Odyssey 2. Uh, but these games are awesome looking. Look at that, 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 that thing looks awesome, doesn't it? What game is this? I said it before. Out of this world helicopter rescue. This I was super psyched about. So when I found this, I just started combing the aisles. I started combing the aisles. And guess what I found? Found another one here. 99 cents. 20% off. These games, they don't look like they've ever been played. Baseball. Baseball. I think these are some of the coolest looking cartridges I've ever seen. And now I'm going to have to find this system. There's going to be a manhunt. And we got, again, 99 cents. These were like, these are like dispersed through the stores. I don't know who puts this stuff out there. It's like, like the Easter Bunny came. And started stocking the shelves. Look at this. Invaders from hyperspace. I love how all these games have a similar uh, 
the art on the on the on the cartridge is similar. It kind of has a real like uh, uniform, you know, pattern to it. I, I dig that a lot. And look at these names: Invade, Invaders from Hyperspace. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Okay, and we have here again 99 cents. You can get the drift. Alien Invaders Plus. Alien Invaders Plus. That's kind of weird. Plus. I guess maybe there was a there was a you know just an Alien Invaders and then they made Alien Invaders Plus. So that's what we found. At the thrift stores at the thrift store today, I mean a Nintendo 64, great addition to our collection. And then these Magnavox Odyssey games got me so excited because, like, now I gotta find this Magnavox Odyssey. And uh, and the Game Link. And guys, we got so much going on right now. The thrift stores are on fire. The TV is coming. I promise you a TV. In the next three episodes, I promise you we're going to have a TV. And the fate machines. I knew I told you we were going to get on those fate machines and get them built and working. I'm working on that. I have the day off tomorrow. I'm going to wake up at the ass crack of dawn and I'm going to work straight through the day. And we're going to get, get stuff set up, put together, and running. So, okay guys, I'll see you next time.